The Minister of the Environment, Mr. Balarabi Lawal, announced during the 2024 budget defense meeting with the National Assembly Joint Committee on Environment held at National Assembly Complex on Friday, December 15, 2023, that his ministry aims to address the shrinking Lake Chad. He outlined plans to draw water from larger water bodies in other countries into Lake Chad to combat its reduction. The minister emphasized that this initiative alongside monitoring rainfall patterns to alleviate flooding constitutes crucial project sets for implementation in 2024. To, to go through this um, Like uh, one of the issues that I was thinking of about was the issue of coastal erosions, garlic erosions, the issue of uh, uh, pension floods all over the country. We are trying to come up with so many new uh, new uh, structures of trying to address these issues. For example, we are looking at the issue of uh, harvesting uh, rain. Uh, we, are, we are talking with some uh, areas that have done that successfully. So that is coming this year's budget that try to see that we track the rain. Instead of allowing the rain to flood and destroy our farms, destroy our houses, destroy our uh, shops, and all that, we are trying to find ways and means of trapping that rain uh, in a way that it will not do that damage so we can now tra transform that calamity into prosperity. Furthermore, the minister highlighted the federal government's efforts towards rain harvesting and flood trapping as innovative strategies to transform flood disasters into opportunities for prosperity. I think we're trying to, we're also looking at the issue of coastal erosions, we're looking at the issue of trying to re-engineer Lake Chad, for example, that has been going on for a long time. So this budget is looking uh, categorically and trying to draw water from other parts of African countries to try to refill uh, Lake Chad, Mr. Chairman. So these are the biggest issues that we are looking at, and that's why we need to have uh, a lot of money in the area of climate change and in the area of agriculture. We have uh, signed a lot of, we are, we are going to sign a lot of other uh, engagement with some uh, international organizations, particularly FAO and, uh, and the World Bank. Uh, uh, thank you. Deputy Chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Environment, Honorable Tessier Ogbo, echoed confidence in the impactful nature of the 2024 budget allocated to the Ministry of Environment, ensuring positive transformations in the lives of Nigerians. So for us, and for me, and the Committee of Environment in the House of Representatives, our mission is to ensure that the budget we are going to pass today it's a budget that will have an impact on our environment at the end of 2024. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.